Theo. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Scorpio between mid month August 16th to the 31st? Hmm. If you're wondering why Mocha is looking all Wonder Woman, it's just because I woke up feeling sexy and Mars is back home and I'm feeling real good about it, goddammit. So here it is. Bam. Here we go. Okay. If my sexy makes you uncomfortable, baby, please go on somewhere because it don't, it don't stop because that's how you feel. This my shit. All right. Everyone, it's your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo. Hey. I'm Mocha. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. Um, thank you so much for all of the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love. Big Mama truly appreciates it. I love y'all so very much, and I'm trying to reciprocate it back, trying to do some little extra things to my channel, We're doing a little few tweaks while I'm getting this website up and running, okay? So I love y'all very, very, very much, and I just wanted to take this time to say thank you. I appreciate you, baby. Um, also, this is just general. It's not personal. If you need a personal read, please hit me up in my, oh, excuse me, y'all. I don't know what was going on. It's itching. It, it's deodorant under that I can show you, but it was itching. Oof. Neither here nor there. Let's get into it. Uh, this is for my sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus sign for um, my Scorpios. Okay. So the first message that I have for you guys from the 16th to the 31st of August. Um, the first message that I have for you guys come from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. The message that you guys, well, the message that jumped up and flipped off my damn table is Diamond. Value your self-worth. You are God's precious gem. It says diamonds are wonderful symbols of how being under pressure can lead to beauty. After all, diamonds are formed by pressure on the carbon element that composes them. Perhaps you've been under strain recently or in a significant period of your life. All the stress or trauma that you've endured has made you who you are. This card comes to you as a reminder that you are God's precious diamond. Although you've been through a lot, God's strength has always supported you and always will. Now it's time for you to be recognized for how valuable you are. Just as you would only choose diamonds that are minded in a humane, fair trade way, so do too you want to treat yourself with kindness and fairness. This may mean developing an assertive style of communication where you show yourself respect and teach others to respect you too. I was going to say to put some respect on your name too. Okay? So this is what this is about. Put some respect on it. All right? Scorpio, I feel like y'all have taken a lot emotionally, okay? During this time frame, during the 16th to the 31st of August, I do see a lot of y'all are going to be grounding y'all selves, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with an earth sign or have a, some type of mother figure that you're actually grounding things with. Some of y'all who have to heal from um, some form of rejection or abandonment issue, that's been coming up a whole lot during this retrograde time, okay? It's time for us to heal, get down deep to the depths of the roots of the issue. OK, so I do see a lot of y'all are going to be grounding yourself during this time. A lot of y'all will possibly be in nature. OK, those downloads, though, y'all third, I will be pouring, pouring information during this time. OK, just receive it, receive it, be open to the universe to receive. OK, your enlightenment, because for some of y'all, it's going to show you which choice and the, the best choice to make going forward for your life. Um. <clears throat> some of y'all could possibly be dealing with someone that is younger than you, okay? This is for, I feel like women and men, but strongly women. If you're dealing with someone that is younger than you, maybe you it's, you know that this person could possibly be a twin flame for you as well. For some of y'all, it's a Pisces, okay? For some of y'all, we're not even going to put no sign on it. This person is just very childish, okay? You want to move forward. The things that you want out of life, you open your heart up to love this person, and this person is hell. OK, whomever this is, some of y'all are going to be needing to spirit is wanting you to be centered. OK, you see that pouring third eye up there. You see how it's pouring on oh, my lighting sucks, but it's pouring. Some of y'all third eyes are going to be pouring. Also, during this time, a lot of y'all may be seeing butterflies. OK, that butterflies letting you know, baby, you're going, you're healing. You're in the midst of your cocoon. Some of y'all busting out y'all cocoon this month, a whole new, new you. OK, I do see that a lot of y'all are, are definitely dealing with a twin flame. You're divine and masculine within yourself. It's going to be aligning. So if you, those of you who are, <clears throat> excuse me, have been spending the month of August looking up chakra videos, trying to realign yourself, spirit says keep going. That is going to do you justice. OK, you're needing to be centered in order to accept the beauty that spirit is trying to put up, bestow upon your life. OK, I do see some of y'all are going to choose. OK, some of y'all are in this resentful, remorseful. Why can't I talk? 
Are y'all having issues speaking out, speaking out truth? Because this was not my energy. <laughs> y'all having issues speaking up and speaking out truth, okay? Speaking your true feelings because I do see some of y'all could be feeling a little remorseful, possibly uh, with the lover in the past. This person could have water in their chart just like you, okay? I feel like you really, really, really love this person. You wanted to make it work, but you have to understand that you can't cry but still milk and still be trying to go forward. Whether this is you or someone in your energy, I do see that somebody is very remorseful, okay? How However, this person has a lot of growing up to do, okay? And this person or yourself possibly has a lot of choices. Scorpio, a lot of y'all are having to go, having to move through life on blind faith, okay? Y'all are fixed energy, so y'all don't really like changes and shakeups and shit. It feels uncomfortable for you, but make the choice that is the best choice for you. Some of y'all have somebody during this time that is remorseful, okay? They sad as shit. Some of y'all have somebody who's gonna know how to talk to you, and some of y'all don't know if y'all wanna travel the road by yourself because you're just over the bullshit. I'm going to be honest with you, the road by yourself with the path is, with the path is very narrow is going to be the road that a lot of y'all choose, okay? Some of y'all are walking away from people or having people walk away from you during this time because you're telling their ass the truth. Yeah, we separated. Yeah, I, yeah, I've been doing me, but I just don't want your ass. I don't want your ass. I don't want their ass. I want my ass. I want my own ass. I want to get me right because... You being in your feelings and shit is not working for me, okay? Some of y'all have someone very selfish in your energy, and you and this person is needing to be grounded before you can move forward, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on, y'all. Let me try and get me some water and see if that works, because I don't know what is tea. What's going on with Scorpio's baby? My throat chakra was, it was booming, and now it's just like, mm. <coughs> This is my defense mechanism. Mocha learning how to watch your mouth and watching what the hell I say to people sometimes because everybody don't take it nice. So when people are arguing with me, Scorpio, when people are arguing with you and you feel like you're going to put out the sword and cut their ass up and you got you a bottle of water near you, <coughs> this is my best defense mechanism when I'm trying to watch what the hell I say. Because if you're goggling, you can't talk shit. You get to hear people out. So I was talking to somebody with that message because I'm talking to, I feel a Scorpio that's very fiery. You got a lot of fire in your truck, baby. <clears throat> and during this time, you were, you got your sword out. Okay. Some of y'all are going to be walking away from Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there's a lot of truth and clarity needed with this person. This person communicates very childishly and you need to make a decision during this time. Okay. Uh, and it could also be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. But some of y'all are definitely going to be walking away from the fire energy and the air energy for some time. You wanted to know during this time you were thinking, okay, well, should I resurrect something? Some of y'all walking away from the Scorpio as well. On the fire energy, strong emphasis on Aries because of that one, that three with the death card, four Aries, okay? So I do see some of y'all are walking away from the Aries. Maybe y'all wanted to resurrect the situation, but you're looking like you can't make a decision about it, okay? Because this is how you feel about it. The shit's toxic. I feel bonded. Like, I feel like I'm stuck to your ass and I just, I don't, I'm over it. So some of y'all, when you leave someone, they could be better very remorseful during this time and some of y'all are leaving these people with the someone's leaving you with like indecisive if you're dealing with a Taurus I feel like this person is very indecisive and you're moving away from that shit you know what you want you like I'm over it okay so spirit please show me what my Scorpios can spend between the 16th and the 31st of August thank you <clears throat> yeah, some of y'all have a Capricorn trying to make an offer, uh, make make an offer to you. Okay, I feel like you and this person have did the dance quite some time before. This person has shown you they're very toxic. They don't give you any clarity. They make you feel. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's dealing with somebody who's victimized. Instead of being taking accountability for their actions, this person is the damn victim, which kind of leaves you feeling stuck. Like, well, what the hell should I do? What should I do? Some of y'all could be focusing on your children during this time. This new card keep popping out of me. Some of y'all are going to make a decision um to move forward with your love life and come in union with somebody through the children um i do see some of y'all also have a leo trying to make an offer to start over this person may be helping you financially during this time some of y'all who are dealing with pisces you're going into a new cycle with your pisces you've been very patient with your pisces i feel like there's been some type of abrupt change that um, um you and your lovers in, okay, that's causing y'all to make major decisions. And one of those, some of those decisions are going to include walking away, Scorpio. Some of y'all have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It don't matter who the sign is. Y'all got somebody stalking the shit out of y'all, okay? This person, 
you feel like you have to keep your defenses up with this person. Maybe it's definitely somebody who feels like you were the one that got away. But some of y'all, it could definitely be a Leo or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there's a sense of remorse during your reading. But I feel like you're, you're trusting your intuition. Some of y'all, some of y'all intuitively have some, some of y'all intuitively, or this could be outside of your energy. Some of y'all know that somebody got a baby on the way. You're going to find that out during this time, which is going to help you move into a new cycle and being true to yourself. Because I feel like this is somebody who you've been wanting to work with for some time. For some of y'all, it's an Aquarius. Um, during this time, I do see you could have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that you're being very defensive with, or maybe they're being defensive with you because I feel like there's no clarity. Someone's juggling and someone doesn't want to see. Um, someone doesn't want to see, you know, that somebody is full of shit, but it is what it is. Somebody's full of shit. You could definitely be having to make a decision, possibly between a fire sign, an earth sign, or an air sign, I feel like the earth sign is juggling as fuck, okay, you dealing with an earth sign, this person has more than you as an option, possibly two water signs, I feel, or you and another earth sign, and if you're dealing with an air, with an air sign, this person is just indecisive, they don't know how to make no damn decision, and I feel like with, but with the tools of these people, you feeling very defensive, like, what the hell am I going to give my heart to, because I don't trust y'all as far as I can throw y'all. Um, I do see some of y'all have a Capricorn again trying to start over in love. You could have children by this person and maybe they're trying to use the kids like I want my family together to kind of come forward. But some of y'all, this used to be your wish. But now you just like, I don't know what the hell to do because your alpha not even coming solid. You coming as a damn page. Somebody like you want to start some shit over. Am I going to have to take care of you? Or you got it? I mean, because I, I ain't really got time to be trying to figure out because I know I already jumped a bunch of damn hurdles. So it's me. You need to make a choice. Okay, some of y'all, uh, you have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, you definitely know this person. Maybe this person feels that you're the one that got away. Okay, or maybe you feel like they're the one that got away. But I feel like you're gonna. This person is gonna be communicating with you. But I feel like you're walking away from that. You don't want it. Yeah, someone who you got a kid with, uh, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all are gonna be moving towards the happy life, happy wife type life with an earth sign but i do feel like you are going to be offering more than this earth sign for some of y'all who are dealing with the leo this person wants to spoil you okay um they do want to make a solid offer and they want to start over they want something new if you have you have an earth sign in your in your energy that's been in your energy this person may or may not come with the shit the right way but if you have a new earth sign a new taurus capricorn virgo that you just met and since you've been in this transition of transformation yeah, baby, that's that. They're a good look, and you're gonna go into another cycle with this person. For those of you who are wanting to commit, baby, here it is. This is the, this is the foundation setting. Some of y'all are ending the cycle and going to another one with the one into another one with the Sagittarius. I feel like there was a lot of secrets that needed to be revealed about this person. Those secrets are going to be coming forward. Okay, I do feel that some of them have to do with a Virgo or some type of mother of a child that there was um, a, a new beginning getting off the ground with. Y'all gonna find that information out because I feel like you've been patiently waiting for it. For someone who's dealing with a Pisces who has the mother of their child is a Virgo, you're questioning if you're going to be able to give this person a solid offer or if this person is going to give you a solid offer. Pisces, yes, they are. Um, some of y'all are healing from a relationship with the Leo. Or some of y'all are just healing from a relationship. Maybe I feel like if you broke up with somebody in the month of August or going into the month of August, you're healing from it. Um, some of y'all are not really getting a lot of sleep. Y'all have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you feel like this person burdens the hell out of you. You're like, I just really simply want to heal, okay? So some of y'all, you finna tell this person, some of y'all finna cut off a fire sign. Some of y'all finna treat like, you burden the fuck out of me. This could also be a Gemini Libra Aquarius that you couldn't out. But some of y'all finna cut this person off because this person is worsome. They worsome to love, okay? The five of swords, but there's definitely a change coming into a dynamic with an air sign, too. Yeah, and this person is stalking. I feel like if that fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, they stalking your ass, too. Strong emphasis on, well, all the fire signs on the board. Um, All the fire signs on the board. Scorpio, you finna leave somebody. And I feel like you've been thinking about leaving this person since the blood moon, since the very last blood moon that just happened. But mid-month, this month, between the 16th and the 31st of August, y'all are leaving people. Y'all moving completely away from your past. You want something new. You're making your decision. A lot of y'all decision is going to be bye. Bye, bitch. Bye. Okay. Some of y'all have a Aries Leo Sagittarius that is stalking 
confused. Okay, this person does not want to let go. For some of y'all, Scorpio, some of y'all got a baby on the way. Congratulations. Most of the kids. Okay. Um, and some of y'all are going to be getting truth and clarity about that. <clears throat> some of y'all are going to be getting clarity from a Pisces that you were already dealing with, possibly about a new baby mama or some type of karmic situation that they did was done and dog going to come to the light, which is going to allow you to move forward, okay? Because I feel like a lot of y'all have been losing sleep. A lot of y'all have been feeling like, damn, why did this person do me like that? Or why did, I, why did they make it as the way I had to leave like that? Because they wasn't feeling me. They were hearing me, but they wasn't feeling me. When dealing with a Scorpio, you have to feel them. If they can't feel you, then they can never appreciate the essence of your energy, okay? Because I feel like y'all y'all left somebody out in the cold. To start something new. And someone is literally, definitely fire energy. Every little sash. Someone is literally, they're passionate about you. That person is very, very, very passionate. But I feel like this person has, this person has an issue with juggling. They don't know how to be faithful. They got to have some type of option. They got to have somebody else they fucking with and their energy. And you're tired of it. You reach the point where you're just like, fuck it. I'm over it. I'm not going to do this shit with you. I'm not going to be here for you. I'm not going to do none of this shit. I'm going to follow my dreams, what makes me happy, and block your ass real soon if you don't stop this stalking, compulsive energy, okay? I do see that you have, you have, you're getting into it with a fire sign right now. Some of y'all are arguing with an area of real Sagittarius, or you're internally fighting yourself to move on from this person, even though you know what's best for you, because I feel like for a lot of y'all, you're dealing with a twin flame, and you got a soulmate acting a damn fool. If you're dealing with a soulmate, you got your twin flame acting a damn fool. And a lot of y'all don't know which way to go. Which way do I go, left or right? Because I love both of these people, but I know I can't have both. I can't coexist with a divine love and have a soulmate on my ass because I'm not learning the lessons. I'm not able to grow. I can't do the same low vibrational shit trying to walk on a higher on a, on, on a higher conscious. Road, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like some of y'all have an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Yes, some of y'all are very passionate. There's like this little strong sexual attraction to this person. This person is very stalkerish, and I feel like a lot of y'all feel like this person is obsessive, and that's why you're moving away from that person to start something new. This person wants a family dynamic with you. However, you feel like this person is very toxic, um, and I feel like some of y'all have a Cancer that you're trying to move towards. Baby, and that cancer finna come towards you, or you moving towards your cancer, but y'all show finna get y'all water babies back, okay? So that's what I have for y'all, um, Scorpios between the 16th and the 31st of August. If you need a personal reading, they're only $40 into the 20th, so hit me up. I love y'all.